she reiterated that her statement against the first couple and House Speaker Martin Romualdez were taken out of context. However, the National Bureau of Investigation and the Justice Department are not buying her explanation. Here's that report. Let's get uh, ready to rumble. This is what Senator Bato de la Rosa declared as the tension between President Bongbong Marcos and Vice President Sara Duterte is increasing. The more you hurt her, the more she's fighting back. Ganon yung ugali ng Duterte. Uh, the Indian he said this as the National Bureau of Investigation or NBI issued a subpoena to the Vice President. This is for her remarks against President Bongbong Marcos, First Lady Lisa Araneta Marcos, and House Speaker Martin Romualdez. Only the OVP's legal counsel was present in their office when the NBI arrived with a copy of the subpoena. VP Sara has yet to read the subpoena but she said that she is ready to face the NBI. Since hindi ko pa nababasa kung ano yung isiserve nila sa akin, we will talk about NBI tomorrow. Um, pag anuhin nyo lang muna ako kasi kailangan ko din isulat kung ano yung isasagot. So give me time to read and think about it. NBI Director Jaime Santiago said, this is a proof that the government is giving due process to VP Sara. Ito ang pagpapatunay na meron tayong due process. Bibigyan natin ng pagkakataon ng ating uh, Vice President na maibigay ang kanyang side on the controversy. No? Uh, ipaliwanag niya uh, at kasama na yung sinasabi niya na may threat sa kanyang buhay. The Vice President reiterated that her statements against the first couple and Romualdez were taken out of context, despite saying in a video conference that she already told someone to target the three if she gets killed. VP Sara said she did not threaten anyone. There is absolutely no flesh on the bone, and despite the absence of a reliable investigation, authorities were quick to consider this a national security concern. Pakicheck, may sinabi ba akong assassin doon? Wala. So nilalagay nila doon sa narrative nila, assassin. And nilalagay nila sa narrative nila, murder plot. However, the NBI did not accept this explanation. Dalawang beses sinabi ni Madam Vice President na no joke, no joke. Diba? Uh, talagang serious siya on uh, her instruction to the kung sino man yung assassin, kung sino man yung kinausap niya. Justice Undersecretary Andres did not buy VP Sar's explanation of what she called as a conditional threat. A threat is a threat. If I say that if you do not fulfill your obligation, I will kill you. That is plain and simple threat. Mm -hmm. Whether or not you, uh, com you fulfill your obligation, a threat pa rin yun. Nagbasa Kasi sinabi mo na the Philippine National Police is still conducting its investigation into the alleged assassin hired by the vice president. So far, they have no concrete findings about the identity of the alleged hitman. VP Sara is set to face the NBI on Friday. Reporting for News 5, Elaine Fulhensho, We Are One News.